Hey YouTube, it's IC, and welcome to the 62nd episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. To start off, I just wanted to say that I will be talking about jailbreak and unlock information a little bit later in this episode, so you can click the annotation that's on the screen now to automatically be taken to that segment of this episode. So to start off with the news, the Kindle Fire was released the other day on the 15th, and for those of you that don't know, the Kindle Fire is Amazon's new 7-inch tablet that is set to compete with the iPad this holiday season due to its extremely low $199 price point and I actually picked one up the other day at Target I made an unboxing video for it and I also showed you guys how you can actually root it so you can gain super user access and basically completely customize your Kindle Fire so if you guys want to see either of those videos I will have links to those down below also Apple officially released iTunes 10.5.1 to the public and it covers a couple of minor bug fixes as well as implementing iTunes match for those of you that don't know iTunes match is meant to go along with iCloud and it's meant to be an addition to iTunes songs. Now the concept artists over at ADR Studio actually put together what they think the Apple TV will look like and they're calling it the iBox. Basically it's this box that you hook up to your TV and it also comes with this tablet looking remote control that you use to actually control the box with. And what's actually really nice about this is that it has the ability to load applications directly on your TV and it basically looks like it mirrors what's happening on your TV with the tablet like control now they didn't offer too much information on the concept however I think it looks great and it's something that you might want to check out also Nielsen took a survey of what kids ages 6 through 12 would most likely want for Christmas and it basically goes in this order an iPad an iPod touch an iPhone and everything else so apparently kids ages 6 through 12 want an iPad more than anything else this holiday season with the total of 44% of the kids surveyed saying that they actually wanted it so while it doesn't seem like it's that important news wise it's definitely impressive to to see how far Apple's products reach and how they actually go into such a young demographic. Now supposedly developers have cracked the security protocol that Siri uses and there's a way that you can get it on older devices. However, there is a catch. You do need to have the UDID of an iPhone 4S to actually do this and building on that, Apple can block UDIDs at any given point in time. So if there's any suspicious activity on one UDID that someone with an older item device might be using to actually trick series verification servers, then Apple can shut that down. Nobody using that UDID, even the original iPhone 4S user can actually use Siri from then onwards. So it's definitely a catch and it's definitely something that Apple could potentially fix with a software update. So I really do not recommend doing it. However, on the post, I have a link to the developer's website, which gives full written instructions if you guys want to check it out there. It's not something for the faint of heart though, because it is a pretty in-depth tutorial that requires a lot of steps to get it working properly. All right, so now I just wanted to talk about downgrading with iOS 5 and also a couple other things related to jailbreaking and unlocking. First of all, if you are on iOS 5.0.1, there is no way to downgrade right now to iOS 5 and there probably never will be. However, the developers for Tiny Umbrella released a new version that actually backs up your 5.0.1 SHSH files for possible use in the future. Now, because Apple did change the way that they actually verify software restores, you can't use the SHSH files to downgrade back to iOS 5.0.1. Let's say if Apple comes out with a new firmware, you can't downgrade from that firmware to 5.0.1 using your SHSH files. That's just something you want to do in case the iOS hacking community does come up with a way to downgrade iOS 5 and to trick Apple's servers. So again, you can't use them and you probably won't be able to use them anytime soon, but it's definitely something that you want to do so that when you can use those, you can downgrade. However, if you do have your SHSH files backed up for a lower firmware, such as 4.2.1 or something like 4.3.3, then you can downgrade from 5.0 or 5.0.1 because Apple didn't start using the new method of verification until iOS 5. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that and possibly to help you out and give you some information when it comes to downgrading. Also too, I didn't do an article on this, but I just wanted to mention it. There is no jailbreak right now. I will provide you guys with the latest 
updates every time something happens related to a jailbreak. So just be sure you check out my website daily and you can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook and you will be notified every time I post something there. I'll also cover it in videos and you know I'll make a video as soon as an untethered jailbreak is available because I do jailbreak videos for basically every single jailbreak that's released. Also, I get asked this question a lot. The latest firmware that you can actually be untethered on is 4.3.3. So you can't be untethered on 4.3.4 or 4.3.5 or iOS 5 or iOS 5.0.1 for that matter. Again, the latest firmware is 4.3.3. So if you're on 4.3.3 and you don't want to lose your untethered jailbreak, do not upgrade. So that's the information about jailbreaking. Just be sure to stay tuned for all news related to jailbreaking. Now for unlocking, I know there's been a tutorial floating around for how to unlock the iPhone 4S without being jailbroken. And it's basically just a whole bunch of what look like to be random steps. However, supposedly it works for some people and it doesn't work for other people. Basically you have to switch out your SIM card a lot with a T-Mobile SIM card. But again, it's something that I would definitely stay away from because it doesn't seem like it would be too reliable at all. So with that said, I know the iPhone dev team is working on an unlock for the iPhone 4 and for the iPhone 4S. However, there will be an untethered jailbreak out for iOS 5 and 5.0.1 before they make an unlock because they want to devote their time towards that. So I've been getting asked about the unlock a lot lately and that's just the status for that so i hope you guys like this video remember if you want to enter the all things apple giveaway rate this video up and leave a comment down below in the comment section with the phrase all things apple giveaway and just favorite this video if you're unaware of the all things apple giveaway or you don't know what's required to actually enter i'll have a video down below the more info that you can go to and you can get all the information about it there and you can enter to possibly win a brand new unlocked iphone 4s ipod touch ipod nano or an ipod shuffle and just be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time i release a new video i'll have links to everything i talked about in today's episode down below as well as links to my Facebook fan page and Twitter accounts. Just be sure to like my Facebook fan page and follow my Twitter accounts to be updated more often. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.